address. We bumped into our good friend Chris Dover from Clover Tech. And uh, thank you, sir, for using a ransom rest and giving us the exposure and word of mouth that you do. And for purchasing one and using it. And, you know, as people like you have kept our family business in, in business for so many years. And, uh, I mean, obviously all the manufacturers here use a ransom rest. And then trying to expand out to some of the smaller groups with our multi-cal. Yeah, right. You picked right up on it. And you were talking about the camera tripod and you it's using a, it. Yeah, it's a good offering. I mean, you know, speaking of the industry, it just mentioned it just right over there a few seconds ago. When he, when he said that, I was like, what else are they going to use? And, and that, seriously, there's really nothing else. Yeah. Nobody doing that. You guys, and for years and decades, what you guys are doing, which is amazing. Yep, that right? handgun testing yeah, machine, the Master locked Series down. rest is right? locked down, as right? you said. But the multi-cal, the amazing thing about the multi-cal, um, I've loved it since, I, since I've had it. And I use it primarily before the tripod on top of an ammo box. A weighted, you know, put some weights on the side, ammo there you box. Go. There you go. And it's worked fine. There you go. But then it was a whole new level on that thing. It was like getting a new rest, literally. When I put that on that shooting tripod. Versatility of the handgun and rifle and oh, your go-to. Yeah, just amazing. I mean, shooting handgun, you know, from a two-handed natural position. There you go. And we yeah. talked about that before. That's the cool yes, thing about that multi cal steady rest is getting on that tripod and you can get in that natural position. Yeah, you're not hunched down or, you know, exactly. stretched out or, yeah, you can get yeah. comfortable. Yeah. And so when dialing, you brought up a good point. When dialing your optics, checking your sights or whatever, it's best to be in that natural position. Right. Not like I'm leaning over a sandbag or something, <laughs> right. you know, right? right. And I, I, I find variations in that and difficulty in that because I'm not naturally shooting it, practicing my proper stance, sight picture, stuff like that. Right, yeah. And then like you said, even uh, even with a, you know, it's a front rest on a right, and with that uh, with a, a shooting tripod, you just uh, detach the bald head there, the swivel around, you know, on that front. That's a lot of yeah, fun, you know. Bands. Multiple still targets, you know, Good down point. range, whatever, and engage those. Good. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's it, for the, what well, I guess, the amateur, the novice, whatever. It's coming in at a decent price point, obviously, compared to the uh, Austin. Yeah, or the Master Series rest. Master yeah. Series yeah. Rest. Yeah, 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 you're yeah. going to drop five, six hundred dollars. Chuck always said he wanted it uh, lower than a good good great gun right and so if you buy the Cadillac you're out 1100 bucks maybe base plate and everything but you know it's 550 and a grip insert about six hundred dollars you're gonna buy the master series rest but for the 170 for the multi-cal and it all around handles everything you know you still have the human involvement but it so steadies it like right. you said and the you know, pro tip I mean you guys have that leather cover yeah as an option uh, you pick, go ahead and pick that up yeah just obviously pick that up. just go ahead and do that yeah. because you're gonna kick yourself if you don't uh, but you know, it being all you know, one big huge block of aluminum or whatever, it has Just to can't kill it, right? And you know, you know, I hate to say this, but we really learn from our mistakes, and we can teach others. You know, I've had instances where I've left that outside for days, weeks on end, just being lazy, get us on the range or whatever. And you know, clean it up a little bit. I've had to take the, uh, the sock off on the sure. fork, you know, and maybe clean that up sure. and wash it a little bit. Get yeah. a little, a little nasty. Yeah. Down and the weather getting yeah. damp, you know. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it can hold up to the elements it. really, really well too. That's it. Yeah, it's just, it'll last a lot of time. Well, I always say if it fell over, you kicked it down the shooting range, and, or if it fell out the back of your truck at 60 miles an hour, stop, yeah. go pick it up, put it back up, keep using it. I mean, well, it's, you know, I mean, if I'll it, tell you, I, I did contact a lawyer one time about suing. And if you weren't such a good friend, I, I might would have done it. <laughs> and I'll tell you what happened is I was bringing my gear in for the range, and that rest again, it's heavy. It's a, it's a solid block of metal. <laughs> And it slipped, and I, went slipped. To, and I went to catch it. And when I did, uh, I don't know if anybody up here has ever heard of uh, what it's called, like hammer finger or whatever, but it, it, it hit my finger, my pinky finger, Ooh. just right. Oh. And with the weight of it going down, oh. it stretched that tendon. And I had a crooked pinky finger. It took, like, it's good now. It's good now. But it took, like, over a year. I had to wear a brace. Oh, jeez. And it was crazy. Oh, jeez. And that speaks to the weight of that rest. Oh, like, it's yeah. heavy. You so, tried to catch it. You should have let a falling another, firearm fall. <laughs> another pro tip. Well, it wasn't a firearm. It was just no, the rest. No, it was rest. the rest. I and know, that's what I, I said. Pro tip, yeah. if, if it does go to fall, it's solid metal. Just let it drop. It ain't, worth, it 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 ain't worth trying to catch. No, <laughs> it's it not going to hurt it. My dingy, you're not going to hurt it. Kick it's it down the shooting range. It's not going to hurt it at all. Fell out the back of your truck. Stop. Go pick it up. Right. You know, um, we talk about that all the time. About if you drop one of our reps, you're gonna you're gonna blacken your toe. Yeah. You're gonna hurt something. Yeah. You're gonna hurt something. Yeah. Don't catch it with your foot. 
But, you know, if you made them cheap and lightweight, they wouldn't last. No. And, yeah, we don't want the plastic. We don't want it, what's the word? We don't want it to blow over or move just by blowing wind. Right, yeah. Right. yeah. It blew off the bench. Oh, what a great rest that is. You know? Right? Yeah, no, I agree. Chris, so, uh, yeah. uh, thank you, Clover Tech. We follow you. We like your channel. We liked your channel before we be, uh, saw you using a ransom rest. And we even appreciate it more now that you're using a course, ransom was, rest. So, I appreciate it too. Uh, it was great. Thanks uh, for it was pushing great us. Great catching you here and getting to meet up. And uh, yeah, go, go. You ever need go anything? Check your stuff out. Thank you. And you ever need anything, you let us know. Always. Man. And uh, Always. one big thing is, is if you call us, we answer the phone. Okay. You won't have to push one for English. And don't get your panties in much. It's just because we only speak English. <laughs> but, right. you know, we'll answer the phone. And uh, we also have an online store. And we've been on Amazon now because it seems like everyone has to. But, uh, yeah. Chris Dover, you do great for yeah. the firearm community. Yeah, I'm so it. happy I ran into you at SHOT Show today. And uh -huh. You have a good uh -huh. one, bro. We will see you on your channel. That sounds good. Thank you. Have a good one.